Well, good Wednesday morning to you, Gate City. It's the day before Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, a special time. Begin to really think about what God did for us in sending His only Son. And this morning, you know, I was just thinking about the just the birth of the Christ child and the announcements that were made and the names that were proclaimed about who Jesus was and who He is. And he said He was going to be the Prince of Peace. And I thought about that because in a world that's full of turmoil right now, many households in full of turmoil because of the stress of the season and the stress of our COVID shutdown issues and all the things that go on with that, uh, I think peace is probably something that we all desperately need. And we have to remember that as a follower of Christ, peace isn't something we have to beg for. Peace is something that lives within us. Uh, I was reminded of what Jesus said um, in John chapter 14, where he said that uh, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives to you. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. The peace he gives us, uh, when he was writing that, he was writing it in the context of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit he gives to us when we go into relationship with him. And that literally means that his peace abides in us. It lives in us. It's not something we have to search for. It's not something we have to beg for. It's not something we have to uh, just earnestly hope will come our way. In all actuality, it's already in us. So the real thing we need to do is ask God to release that peace, to let it, allow ourselves to experience the peace of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, within us. And as we do that, that's when peace can begin to take over in our lives, as we remember through the Holy Spirit's prompting and encouragement that Christ is with us in every circumstance that he will never leave us nor forsake us, that his power is greater than any power in the world, that Jesus in and of himself came so that we might have peace. So if your hearts are troubled, be at peace, because the Prince of Peace lives in you. I mean, that is the blessing of being a follower of Jesus Christ, having committed our lives to him. God, the Holy Spirit lives in us, Christ's Holy Spirit lives in us and gives us peace in all circumstances. If we, and this is the condition for us, if we will remember that he is there and trust that that peace is ours because he promised it to us, you will then experience it. God bless you. Have a great day of peace and may your holiday season be the most peaceful even in the midst of the difficulties of our world right now. God bless you. Have a great day.